good morning everybody it is monday the 17th of september i'm loaded with cold i've got a tickly nose yeah but it is now four sleeps until daddy flamingo comes home it's only four sleeps freddy isn't that good very exciting spoke to him um last night and this morning there and he's okay he's had a bit of toothache but he says it's going off now so that's good so he's gonna have to get an appointment at the dentist as he does have a temporary fill in there that does need doing properly so great news is that freddie stayed in his bed all night didn't you you did you were so so good are you you can find the unicorn are you yeah. It's a bit like Where's Wally, but you're looking for the unicorn instead. It was Madeline. She got it for Christmas off Santa last year. So we are heading to the shops um, to get Freddie a little treat as a reward for staying in bed. Um, I think it's it's just going to be something little. It's not going to be a big toy or anything. I really think it's important to reward him um, as and when he does it. Because I think it too, to say to him, right, I want you to do this all week. Um, and then you'll get um, a surprise at the end of it. I, I don't think you'll quite grasp that. So I'm thinking a little treat um, each night that he does it will help to build him up. And then maybe after Christmas, sort of start with a sticker chart and then see when you get the stickers on, then, you know, you get a treat after that. Um, but I just think, um, Freddie, the way I know him, I don't think you'll quite grasp um, you having to wait like a week. And I think that's a long time for a two-year-old. So we're just going to go and get him a little treat. So it's Monday, the start of a new week. Um, I am buzzing after doing a live video last night. Buzzing. Yeah, if you haven't watched it yet, it is part one of my Christmas countdown. It's a 12 week countdown um, of everything that you need to do to get yourself prepared for Christmas. So I know there's more than 12 weeks until Christmas, but by following the plan, it'll give you um, everything basic that you need to do by the beginning of December, leaving you free to enjoy the rest of December in the festivities, rather than running around like a loon um, and having to miss out on things because you've got to go and dive around the shops. And let's face it, guys, the shops are heaving at Christmas. Nobody wants to be running around last minute trying to get something that everybody else is trying to get as well. So go and check that out because that was a live feed from last night. Um, so I'm good. I'm happy, even though I'm loaded with cold. Um, Freddie's good this morning, Madeline's headed off to school and we're heading off to the shops. So I'll catch up with you guys in a bit. Hi everybody! Hi, Hi everybody! So we've just got back from the shops and while we were there, Freddie decided that he wanted to buy... Not a big popcorn. Not a big popcorn, that's right. And there's a little popcorn. That's right, I'll get, I'll get the packet for you so you can show everybody the packet first. There you go, hold that. It's empty because we've just taken it out of the bag, haven't we? There you go. There's your bag of popcorn. Good boy. So, Freddie asked if you could get some microwave popcorn. Like your pop and I thought, why like not? Your pop so, we're going to put it in the microwave. Okay, so we've got to put that side down like that in the microwave. Are you excited? Yeah. Let's do it. Right. Let's so, it. we'll put that in there. Okay, there we are. Right, close the door. Now on here it says um, two to four minutes, depending on the microwave wattage. Okay, so. Mummy, press the button. Yep. Got it. And again, it's a minute, two minutes, three, Mommy. four. Right, we'll just leave it on for that and see what happens. So it says depending on. So once the popping noise starts to slow, two seconds between, you'll know it's ready. So remove and shake the bag after. Mama. Right. Are you excited? Those are for the um, the birds, those apples, because they were a little bit old. So we've already cut one up, haven't we? The pop pops. Pop pops, I can't hear them. <gasps> what did you hear? Pop Yeah. Hear a pop pop. Right, let's see if everybody else can hear. Oh my goodness me, can you hear the pop pops? Yeah! Pop 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 Okay guys, so we're just getting it out of the microwave and it looks like that. 
and it's, it's give it a little shake. The packet's already decided to beep kind of burst beep. open. Coming on. Yeah, on. had a beep beep. And it kind of smells burnt. Um, it's only be, it's been in two and a half minutes because it's got one thirty-seven. So we're going to open it now and see I, what it's like. I, I beep beep my it, body. Beep, beep beeps, lots of beep beeps, wasn't there, Freddy? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Right, here we go. It does smell very burnt in there. Right, there we go. Looks okay. So we'll put it in a bowl. Taste test. Well, what's it like? Nice. Nice? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Cool. So I'm just looking in the packet and I can see there are a few little burnt bits in there, but it doesn't look too bad. I'm going to pour it out in a big bowl and have a look. But Freddie, yeah, thumbs up from you? Cool. Thumbs up. Well done. Good boy. You better go and put a film on then. Yeah. Yeah? Cool. Hi! That was a lovely princess. So we are just watching Shrek now. There we go. Film's just started for Freddy there. And we're going to have our popcorn. Yeah. And then it'll be like, well, we need to get some lunch as well. So kind of done that in the wrong order. But hey, it's nice to have a little bit of fun. Um, I will later on be doing the full B&M haul as well. Um, but yeah, we're just having a little chill out now, so we'll catch up with you guys in a bit. <laughs> Hi, Madeline. Have you had a good day? Yeah. <laughs> what are you watching? We're watching the Disney parade. Wow! You're getting excited. <laughs> it's a good fun. <laughs> So that is bad and all changed from school. Oh, where have you gone? Oh. <laughs> where are you off to? Uh, I'm going to dancing and do cheerleading. Yay! Looking forward to it? I uh, am. Um, I love dancing. And because it's a new class, what did I ask you to bring with you? Um, my pom-poms. Well, I'm bringing my pom-poms. Because Madeline's like a pro, really, aren't you? Mm. <laughs> right, so that's it. We are back out of the house. I'm staying back out of the house and I haven't been out for a few hours. And um, Oh, hello. <laughs> And um, we are going to go and take Madeline to dancing and then I'm going to call in at my mum just to say hello. Oh my goodness me, there is a helicopter. So yeah, it's just my mum lives closer to the dance school. And if we come home, like it's literally just going to be time to go back out again. So it's just as easy to go and visit my mum and have a cup out with her. So yeah, that's right. So we'll catch up with you in a bit. And Freddie is just saying that he's going to be going to play some games. Is that right? Freddie, you're going to play games at Mama's house? Yeah, yeah you're excited to see Mama. Bed. What? It's a bit of bread. Looks like a bird might have dropped it. Oh, well, it's all right. We put lots of apple out for the bird today, didn't we? Mm. Yeah. Should we go to Mom? Prop Madeline off and go to Mama's? Okay, Mom. let's go. Hey, guys. Good evening. Welcome to Monday. Um, as you can tell, I am absolutely loaded with cold and feeling quite sorry for myself. Um, so a few hours have passed, obviously, since I last vlogged. Um, everything became a little bit of a rush. Um, got back from dancing, did tea and everything. Got Freddie settled in bed. My mum came over and I have been at rehearsal, which is kind of the last place I wanted to be when I'm feeling bleh. But I had to go as it isn't that long. You know, show kicks off um, Halloween October 31st. So I'm just quickly going to go through um, the B&M haul. Um, on Sunday's vlog, we went to one of the large B&M stores and started to purchase some Christmas items to put in what I call my Christmas boxes. I like to build things up bit by bit. And then I did buy a couple of items from B&M today. Um, so I'm just going to quickly go through everything with the prices. So you've got an idea of things that are coming in the shop so far. So first I've got the Cadbury's Snowy Fingers. Um, that is um, basically normal chocolate fingers with white chocolate over the top. Which Freddie picked. Um, and they were £1.59. Um, it was 230 grams in there. Um, so we'll be putting them away in the Christmas box to be enjoyed over Christmas. 
um in part one of my christmas countdown i did say that um you should be thinking about having a look at the advent calendars now and um, before the start of sell out because they do start to sell out you know and you do want to get the best choice so i'm just going to go through them one by one so we've got the rhesus um advent calendar which is rhesus pieces um, that is for Daddy Flamingo. He's a massive peanut butter fan. Um, that was $4.79. Um, now, this is the one that I've never seen before. This is the Hershey's um, Advent Calendar. Um, and you get Hershey's Cookies and Cream and the little Hershey's Kisses, which are really tasty as well. Um, and that one was $4.99. Um, that one's for Madeline, the Hershey's one. Um, for little Freddy, for baby flamingo, we've gone for a dairy milk one. Um, it is not always a massive chocolate fan. So the dairy milk advent calendar with Santa on the front is $1.99. Um, and finally, for mummy flamingo, for me, I've got the Cadbury's Heroes calendar. Um, and that one came in at $3.99. Um, and they're all from being and bargains. Um, also, while I was in there, um, I picked these and I was quite excited about these. These are Cadbury's chocolate tree decorations, but the Oreo ones, Oreo, um, so pleased to find these. Um, there's 14 in there, you've got different shapes, and they've all got Oreo pieces in them. Um, and that's probably all I'll get because there's going to be a lot of chocolate floating around at Christmas and then the 14 on the tree. Um, it's just something a little bit extra to mix up with the tree decorations. Um, and they were $2.79, um, which is quite a lot really, to be honest. Um, I don't think I looked at how much they were before I bought them. Because um, when I looked back at the receipt, I thought, oh, 2 79 But, you know, it's Christmas. Um, so, and that's something that I don't normally do, actually. I normally always check the prices of things. Um, it's normally Daddy Flamingo who's, like, a little bit more. And I'm like, whoa, hang on, check how much it is first. Um, so, yeah, 2 79 But I suppose you can make a little bit of a splurge at Christmas if you can. But don't feel you have to, guys. Don't go beyond your budget definitely don't go beyond your budget it's just not worth it just not worth it feel it out um while i was in b and m's today um, i did actually start having a look at the toys <coughs> excuse me um um they've got quite a lot of the toys on two for 20 pounds um but what i would say is hang fire on buying them because normally um black friday which is normally about the 25th it normally falls in line with thanksgiving um in america um it's normally over the weekend b m's normally do an extra percentage off so i would say go in have a look at the toys um if there's any that you're going to be thinking of getting from them hang fire um and see if they do end up getting a little bit extra taken off them for the black friday weekend i'm sure last year there was another 10 percent off or something so two for 20 so 10 percent of that is two pounds so you're getting two toys for 18 pound um so yeah i've had a look at some things today i made a little note what i do is i've got some notes in my phone and i just keep a little note going of things that i've seen and the prices that they are in case i spot them anywhere else then i can obviously compare the prices I'll be hanging fire on buying any toys from B&M until Black Friday weekend. If they do have an extra percentage off, then great. I'll go up and buy them all there and then. If they don't, I'll just go on the Monday um, and purchase them anyway. Because um, obviously I want them. But it is nice to see if you're going to get a little little extra something off. Um, and also, they have got the Christmas crackers in at the minute. Um, I think it's a box of 12 for about 4 99 But I remember last year they actually reduced those as well. So hang fire for them. Just keep an eye out. So at the minute you just want to be sort of working out what prices um are sort of happening for things and just keep it just keep a little note if you either get a notebook or get a little note going in the back of your phone and just keep an eye because that's what i'll be doing um i did pick up a couple of terry's chocolate oranges today they were a pound each and being um um i always check the dates and everything as well and that's another little thing uh, it's got 29 in one of them which is great and also they did have a lot of the different um sets for christmas like hot chocolate coffees things like that um all the selection boxes and everything else but you know i would say have a look go between sort of b &Ms, home bargains will goes pound stretchers even and just compare the prices and go with the best because at the end of the day um it's just chocolate you know it doesn't matter where you get it from um and something that i spotted is i used to always joke saying um walnut whips nestle walnut whips um that i like them but i'm not really that keen on the walnut on the top so i could just do with having some whips 
they've actually got Nestle whips now in B&M's the original ones I think there was a mint one and caramel one I was like no way um, so I did mention that to my mum today so hopefully I might get some Nestle whips as opposed to the walnut whips in my stock in this year if I'm a good girl now the final item that I, I'm going to show you that I bought in b and today is brandy snaps absolutely love brandy snaps at Christmas um, I'm not really sure whether there's any brandy in them um, I'm sure it was just like sort of like a sugary thing they don't taste of brandy anyway and what I normally do is um, we have them with squirty cream in them um, and I just think they're lovely to have over Christmas and they were let me just have a look at the receipt they were also a pound today um, I have got my eye on some items in there which I've made a note of but I haven't purchased yet and the selections that they're getting in B&M is really really good so I'd suggest getting yourself down start having a look at the prices you know start writing your notes and um, get your budget done and things like that um, I'm sorry if today's vlog hasn't been quite as full as normal um, but I'm really really suffering with my cold and I'm finding that I just want to um, do nothing <laughs> Uh, which is really hard when you've got a two-year-old but it's times like this that makes us um really really miss Jason even more because there was literally no let up like I always say there's no time for mums to be ill or you know dads if they're there on their own you know I don't mean to discriminate in any way um so guys I'm gonna sign off today's vlog I'm gonna get an early night and start fresh tomorrow and hopefully I feel a little bit less congested um, I've got some editing to do and I just can't bear to sit and do it tonight so I'm gonna have to do it tomorrow so by the time you watch this video um, apologies that um, Sunday's vlog is actually going to be going up um, later it'll, obviously it'll be up by the time you watch this video but it'll just be later than it was supposed to be um, so if anybody else has got a cold at the minute and you've got any remedies for me let me know Good night, sweet dreams, and we'll see you all next time. Bye.